Hey guys, it's Margaret and I'm bringing you another video about how I research items to get the best keywords, title, how I decide on my price, and how I cross post them on Etsy and eBay. The first item I'm going to share with you is this heart pendant that I got out of one of the last jewelry jars that I unboxed. And so let's get started. So I pull up, the first thing I do is pull up all my photos. It's been a couple weeks since I took the photos of this. So I wanted to get a good look at it again. And before I started the video, I looked at it. And normally when I, I take the measurement pictures, I usually have my magnet and I'll take a picture of the magnet next to the chain to remind me whether or not the chain was magnetic or silver. Uh, but I forgot to do that on this one. So I went to find the item and, and checked out the, the chain. It was not magnetic, so I went ahead and tested it. There were no markings for silver, but um, I thought I would go ahead and, and test it. So I did, and it was not, it did not test for sterling silver. It wasn't magnetic either, though. Um, so I'll make sure to put that in there. And probably if I'd taken a closer look at the um, pictures, I mean, it's hard to tell with the chain, but it's got that sort of antiqued uh, look to make it look like it's, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not tarnished, but I guess it is tarnished. Um, like that tarnished silver look, so I can put that in there. But on the on this, you know, on the heart, the, the loop, the hook on the heart is obviously not uh, magnetic. I mean, not magnetic, but silver, rather. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled up some of my research to just get us jump, uh, jumping off point. So the first thing I looked at was the big part of the heart, obviously. Um, not obviously, but uh, and I saw that it was iridescent. It's a heart. It's a pendant. So that's the first thing I typed in. And when I did that, I saw a few things pop up that looked like they were in the similar range. Um, so I clicked on the images. And I saw these two that jumped out at me, this one as well, that looked very similar to what I've got. So from that point, I open up those images just to get a, a better idea of um, keywords. So this one was in Pinterest. And when I clicked on it, it says, you know, here that it's on an Etsy listing. Why this is Sailor Moon inspired? I don't know if this has to do with it. Um, so I'll have to check out, like, is that something I can put? Uh, Sailor Moon inspired real glass iridescent heart pendant necklace with Swarovski crystals. So I have a feeling this part is the Swarovski crystals. So um, I don't know if that is Sailor Moon inspired because it's a heart or because it has those crystals. I looked around and that's just something I'll have to go back and check um, to see if that's something I could add in as well. But so here you see out of stock. So when I selected it on Etsy, sorry, this item sold. So that is generally, and I know it says the price over here on, on um, Pinterest, but I like to double check as well. So again, it gives me good uh, keywords, materials that they put in there, and then what kind of description they gave it. So I wanted to find out what it sold for. And let's say you found it through images and it didn't pop up through Pinterest and you want to know how to find out the sold price on Etsy. What I do is I go to Flipper Tools, you copy and paste the URL that's up in the top, and you uh, put it in the little box there, the search box, and select OK, and it pulls it up. So this uh, heart sold for $39 plus shipping. So not too bad, if I do say so myself. So here I found another one uh, that was very similar, in better condition than mine. Um, and I'm already seeing Terra Peak, and I know that that's a, a paid service, so they won't tell me the price, but they will <clears throat> share the title, and they will share, you know, some of the keywords and things. So I'm seeing that they've got a lot of the similar uh, keywords that I would have used. So puffed, hot, big heart, I might put puffy heart. From there, okay, this is one that I clicked on that it didn't pull up anything that the shop that it goes to is closed. So this was another one that looked similar, not exactly the same, um, but I went with it just to see, you know, holographic iridescent stars. Um, so I don't know. Carnival might be a word I use because I know Carnival Glass has that um, iridescent look to it. So I might throw that Carnival Glass um, keyword in there 
maybe not together because carnival glass is something else, but I might say it's a puffy glass heart, you know, carnival look or something like that. So those keywords are in there. So if somebody's searching for that, they may find it. And then this is one, okay, then I changed my search and I added the words mirror and puffy. The, re the reason I added mirror is because on the back of it, it's got this like mirror silver coating. Um, and I, I tried silver too, but it wasn't, it just pulled up silver hearts. So I was like, oh, that's kind of counterproductive. So this one looked similar, but when I clicked on the actual picture, the actual image of it, it's a just a puffy silver heart, silver plated heart. So, but still, there might be keywords there that I could look at using. And then here, I added the word glass on the end just to see if I got any more hits. Not really um, anything just like what I've got, which is good because that means I can put my price on it, put the price I want. Um, so now, <clears throat> I when I list, most of you know, I cross post on Etsy and eBay. I do think this is a vintage item. I don't think it's, I mean, in, in for Etsy, vintage is before 1997. So I, I feel confident listing it on Etsy. I create my listings on Etsy first, and then I copy them over to eBay. There's no service that I know of that, that will do this. So, and things have to be tweaked anyway. So I do that. All right, so here's how I list on Etsy. I choose five photos. Sometimes I'll create a collage for one of them. If I have a ton of pictures, um, let's say of a book or something that has a lot of things I wanna make sure I get in there, I might make a collage of them. Uh, but this one, I don't think I will. I did take pictures of it on black and white, so I want to make sure I show both just to give them, the buyer, a good sense of what they're looking at. So I'm gonna select those two for sure. And then, Let's take a look. I want to get a picture of the back. That's one of the things I noticed about the other one that was similar to this, that Sailor Moon inspired one. I wanted to see the back of it, but there was no picture of the back. Um, I really wanted to see if it had that mirror look on the back, that silver image mirrored look. And then I want to get a picture of it with its chain. And let's take one more look through the pictures and see what I might put up. Hmm, that's my measurements. I guess I could put the measurement of the heart, but I can put that in my description as well. So maybe I'll just get a different angle of the heart. That might be the same as my first image. Let's see, no it's not. So maybe just uh, showing the heart from another angle. There we have it. You know what, I think I changed my mind. I think I do want to put one with the mirror, I mean with the, um, the, pardon me. <laughs> I, I think I do want to put a picture of it with the ruler because it's kind of hard to tell the size. So this is one, I did not end up tweaking the color on this, so I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. It's, since I'm putting it in there, this is what I do. So brighten it up just a teensy bit. Not enough to change what the image actually looks like, but just to make it look brighter. So there we've got it, and here it is. Let's put it in there. So now I am ready to create my title. So I let's take a look back over here. I'm gonna hold off on putting Sailor Moon. It might be something I look at later. I have a feeling that this is the part that makes it more Sailor Moon inspired, but I'm not sure. So, in a real glass iridescent heart pendant necklace. So I'm going to put large, ir if I spell iridescent right, it's not a word I spell all the time. Descent, gla uh, let's see, heart, glass pen pendant. Let me see what, else, what other words did they use? Heart pendant necklace, um, tarnished silver look, no, it's tarnished silver style necklace, mirror, let's see, silver mirror, that heart. 
puffy heart pendant pendant and then there was one that said puffed heart pendant now let me go back and see if there were any keywords that I really wanted to get in multicolored maybe I want that in there silver maybe I'll take that part off multicolored there was another word I felt like I wanted to use carnival that was what it was so I've got glass over here tarnished silver style necklace multicolored carnival heart puffed heart pendant okay is that it let me see no it's not silver plated puffy pendant necklace vintage dooby dooby doo okay so who made it another company or person what is it a finished product when was it made I don't know exactly so I put before 1997 the category will be jewelry and necklaces and pendants so I'm going to put it at that 39.99 point and then here the first thing I do is my mom must be updating her calendar uh, copy and paste the title that's my first um, line and then description I, I have a um, template that I kind of go by so this large iridescent heart pendant is heart glass pendant reminds me of goodness gracious mom <laughs> <laughs> colored carnival glass looks fantastic on light or dark colors goes with everything goes with anything okay so then I put measurements <laughs> mom <laughs> I, our calendars are synced so so let's see, it says the heart is approximately, so here, heart, approximately two inches tall. And let's go see how wide it is. And it's about one and three quarters, one point, let me scoot it over so you can see, 1.75 inches wide necklace oh, I forgot to write about the necklace in here uh, the chain is a tarnished uh, style silver tone silver tone tarnished style necklace it is not magnetic Okie dokie. So the necklace is how long? Here's how I do my measurements. I sometimes I'll just double it up, but I didn't on this one. So this is the first length, 12 inches, and then it goes on to 12, 13, 14, 15. So 16 inches at the shortest. 16 inches long at the shortest and did I get a good picture of how long it goes? So that was 16, 17, 18, 19 at the longest. And 19 inches at the longest. Because it's adjustable, sort of. Then condition. Um, scuffs and wear to the heart pendant. Silver mirrored coating on back no chips or cracks okay so then I also come over to my shop and I have um, something I just copy and paste into every listing so I'll just grab it from another okay mom <laughs> So on this, I put this on every listing. I take everything after the dotted line that just says, like, check out my store. 
Thank you so much. International buyers, send me a message. And then jewelry and accessories down here. My, come on now. Um, so you have the ability to create shipping options based on weight and size of the package, or you can have ones that you are just like a template. So I have my templates that are here. So now I can write my tags. This is why I do Etsy first, because the tags can take some time. So puffy heart pendant, puffy heart necklace. This is like you would put in, what do you think someone would search for? So if someone was looking for this necklace, what would they look for? Iridescent heart necklace. Oops. Neck. Oh boy. Necklace. Am I not spelling right today? Iridescent heart. I'm going to put Sailor Moon down here. Necklace. Just because it's, I mean, maybe it'll pop up something. This is not in, in my main part of my title or anything. So uh, somebody had put puffed heart. Puffed heart, glass heart necklace, um, large heart pendant. How about just straight, straight heart necklace, heart pendant. Let's see what else would I want to put. Carnival style necklace. Oh boy. Carnival style heart. Hmm. Let's see, what else did I have? Multicolor. Multicolor heart. Colorful heart. Pendant. Goodness. <laughs> Necklace. Nope. <laughs> Colorful heart, heart, goodness. Okay, I'm running out, I got one more. You can do this. Let's take a look at it for inspiration. Hmm. Do, 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 do. You're probably yelling keywords at me that I can't think of. Let's go back and look and see if I had any. What did you put? Excellent, con and that's the thing, like who's searching for excellent condition? I am searching for excellent condition. Um, doo -doo -doo. Maybe they do, maybe it's just me. Pastel, candy, resin, oh, mine's not that. Holographic, oh, kawaii, I think it's kawaii, maybe. I don't know about that. <coughs> Big heart, there we go. Big heart pendant. Okie dokie. So materials, glass, metal, occasion, then style, men. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Publish. All right, so now when I want to come over and copy and paste it to eBay, this is what I do. So I have All right, now that I have created my listing on Etsy, I want to copy it over to eBay, and this is my process. One of the reasons that I do it on Etsy first is one, it takes me longer to create the tags and the title because the title's longer, and it makes it easier for me when I go to eBay just to pare down the title than creating it on eBay and then having to flesh it all out over on Etsy. So really, I just um, create it and chop it down some. So select sell, come to create listing, single listing. And then I just come and copy the whole title and pop it in. I know it's going to be too long, but that's okay. It's going to give me options for... There we go, okay, it didn't. Large iridescent heart glass pendant. Now, tarnished silver style. I'm gonna take off this part. Well, maybe I'll leave it, we'll see. So I'm gonna take out tarnished necklace, leave in multicolored, and I wanna throw in 
puffy. Do I have pendant in there? Pendant, glass, necklace, um, carnival. I can't spell carnival right now. Carnival. Okay. So two. Mm, okay, we'll leave it. So I'm checking here. Yes. Store categories. I want to put it in my jewelry. Mm, pendants and charms. And I've got another one that's got necklaces as well. I've got a lot. I don't know why. I just do. So here's where it makes it easier. I think I've got more than 12 images here. But that's okay. Let's start with those two. And then come over and grab the rest. These get to go in. You made the cut. Good job. Then there were a couple that I want to make sure I get from over here. There we go. I think I've got too many now. That'll let me know. So brand, unbranded. Come on, select. Metal, unknown. Mainstone, glass. I know that's not what that's for. Glass. Metal, purity, unknown. Style, pendant, country, unknown. And then I come and copy and paste. I don't copy and paste the bottom part. I just take this part here and copy and paste it. And then I advance settings it. Oops. Okay, okay, I'll come back and fix that in a second. Um, because I want to make my font a little bigger and make it black. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. So, over here, I want to take that out and there was another footer. Did I get that in there? That's the one I want. Nope, this one. There. So, I realized that on my condition, scuff some red heart pendant, silver mirror coated on backing, no chips or cracks, um, somewhere to finishing on metal. So I want to add that in there because I didn't. So copy and paste. Then I copy the condition just straight from the from the description and, and plug it in up here in condition. And I think that's pretty much it. So then I come down by it now price $39.99. I do have best offers on. Sometimes people like to see what they can get. You know what I mean? No problem. And my weight. I, let's see, what does this thing weigh? I, I always worry I'm, I'm going to put too low because sometimes I do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put like nine ounces because I don't think it's more than nine ounces for sure. And then we're good to go. List item. <clears throat> well, that's thinking I'm going to come and edit this over here because I need to add that in my condition over here. So I'll just, because I already have it copied and pasted, or copied, I'll just copy it here, paste that with the extra words, and I'm done. So let's view it. Let's make sure I didn't make any mistakes. So here I've got large iridescent heart glass pendant tarnished necklace multicolor carnival. And then, okay, looks good. That is what I do. So that is how I cross post my items on eBay and Etsy. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this about how I create listings on Etsy or eBay, how I do my research, um, or just general making money selling online and e-commerce, then hit that subscribe button and be updated when I put out new videos. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.